Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now listen, today it's all about Freedom Day and we want to find out from you, Mzanzi, how are you preparing and excited for your Freedom Day and what do you define as freedom? But for me, it has to be all about the bri, I hate to admit it, <laughs> and its sides, wouldn't you agree? Exactly, and, and for me now, you know the one thing that hurts me is when you go to a bri and the meat is delicious and it's just meat and pap. Yeah. It's like, where are the sides? It gets awkward. It does. But here's where we fix that problem. Now listen up, Mzansi. There is nothing that makes us more proudly South African than a bride shared with family and friends. Now we know that most South Africans are big meat lovers. Mm. I am most South Africans. <laughs> but no bride is complete without an array of different sides. So Dumi and I are here to share two of our favorite side salads. We're talking about our potato and pasta salads brought together with the delicious Clover Bliss double cream yogurt. You know when I started making potato salad, ne? Yeah. it was only because I was trying to replicate my mom's potato salad. No! Dude, that woman takes a potato salad and she can make it into anything. She can make it a starter main and dessert. She puts that thing down, flips it and reverse. Although it. after a couple of times, I'm starting to, 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 I'm starting to get to it, but there's still something missing. What? Angas. I know okay, it's love. So listen to me, I think today is the time that we need to just debunk that whole thing. Make sure that you bring nothing but the best into this potato salad. But also, I would like to think of this as a challenge because I've got a pasta salad oh. that I'm going to be putting together. Yeah. And this essentially can go with any and every bride. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay. So on your station, on your potato salad? All right, station? my potato salad is a, is a potato salad that um, is, a, is slightly, it's simple. But slightly, slightly on the bougie side because we've got some um, raisins going in there. We've got some potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not really bougie, but it's just about taking the ingredients you have and trying to make them, you know, work together. So my potato salad starts with some potatoes that I'm going to be roasting up in the oven. Most people like to boil the potatoes. The reason I do this is because you can flavor the potatoes separately before adding everything else yes, that goes into them. Absolutely. So this is where I add my spices. If you've got, I mean, I'm going to be using some paprika and some coriander. Um, uh, spices as well, as well as some cumin. So this is where you get all that flavor into the potatoes. And then after that, the main thing is how you bind it together with yeah. all the other flavors here. Okay, mm -hmm. I got that. So whilst Dumi is just whipping up her potato salad on my side, I'm on pasta salad duty. Now this pasta salad has a very, very special place in my heart. Yeah. I went through a time and opportunity where I was meat free. And yeah, that truly struck, like I was so stuck with things to create and make, and this is something that I literally lived by. And all you need, South Africa, is some oregano, we've got some cayenne pepper, we've got some fresh chopped chilies, you know, there ain't nothing like that fresh chopped chili, honey. We've got olives, sweet corn. Is this parsley, do me? That is parsley, Absolutely, we've also got some cucumber, tomatoes, lemon, and here. We've also got that cream cheese mayonnaise. and mayo dressing to put it all together. And of course, I've got my um, shells. We use shells today. Yes, some, pa yes. some pasta shells that's already been um, al dente. Al dente, prepared because you al don't dente. want it to be too mushy as well. So you can start putting your ingredients together there. And all I'm going to do now is get these babies into the oven. And you're talking about braying it inside. Mm. So when people are making the meat in the, in the braai, you want to be able to try and make everything at, outside at the braai. So that's where you can also cut up your potatoes, season them, put it uh, flesh side down, get those grill marks on them, get that smoky flavor into them. And then once that's done, this is where the next element comes in, the binding agent. So okay. I've got, like I mentioned, I've got my raisins, which for me add that sweetness. It's a optional thing, because some people don't like, I mean, I've added raisins into my coleslaw. Uh, I don't know about <laughs> raisins. I really, you know, being born and raised in Durban, we never added raisins to our potato salad. Really? No, never. Lutter, not no, even girl. into a coleslaw. No. But even, um, you know, it's not raisins, girl. That other... Uh, the sultanas. Sultanas. Yeah. I literally only experienced that moving to Cape Town. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now, the other twist I'm adding here, ne? Balesa, to are my potato salad, and most people do this, is they add mayonnaise. And I love that. Mm. Mayonnaise is great. It's delicious. However, I am choosing to to use our Clover Bliss double cream. Not only because it's thick and creamy and obviously truly indulgent, but because it's got that mellow flavor about it. You go, you've got the strong flavors of, you know, the coriander. I've added some coriander, some bacon into this. You've, you've also got, you know, the strong flavors from the spices that we used for our potatoes. Now you mm. need something that sort of cuts through that. And that's the creaminess of our Clo Clover Bliss. And that's why I prefer to add it because sometimes your mayo is great, mm -hmm. but it can be a little too tangy where it ends up putting 
putting some people off. But for men, this is why I like to use the, the, the uh, Clover Bliss or um, Clover Bliss in this instance. But now I see you've added it to your uh, pasta salad as well. Yeah, definitely. I've added it to my pasta salad because at the end of the day, you know, being able to play in the kitchen is what it's all about. Yeah. Being free. <laughs> Born free. <laughs> you, and that's what you're talking about, yeah. being able to be versatile in the kitchen. So I have to ask you, before we enter Freedom Day mm -hmm. tomorrow, what does freedom mean to you? Like, Valis, it means being able to live anywhere, mm -hmm. do anything. Like, for instance, right now, I'm a qualified chef, a black qualified chef female living in Cape Town, and I'm comfortable to be doing whatever I want to do without thinking twice. Yeah. And that, for me, in itself, is freedom. I love that. Same here, Dumi. You know, for me, freedom means exactly that. You know, living your truth, yep. being your truth, not being toxic. <laughs> Because some people say, I'm living with truth, but you're that. being toxic. Mm. No, living with love, living yeah. with respect, living with dignity, but also allowing others that same freedom, dignity, and respect, and love. That's what it's all about. And that is exactly what we're doing within this recipe. Oh, and giving them the best sides for their bra. Cheers to that, girl. Cheers. <laughs> if you want to get this recipe, please do head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Yeah. With the creamy decadence of double cream bliss from Clover, yogurt has never been so irresistible. Made with love by Clover.